Alekine's defense, exchange variation, 5, x66.nc3b7. Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. That game was pretty competitive. The opening was balanced. Both players navigated the middle game well. Sharp games are frequently the result of starting with the king's pawn since it dominates the center and frees up the bishop and queen on the light squares. The Alekhine defense hopes to provoke the move e4 e5 so that black can attack this advanced pawn later with d7 d6. Attacking the knight with e5 frees up room in the middle. The knight that was attacked is moved to the center by nd5. The move c4 clears a square in the middle, engages the knight on d5, and gets ready to advance the knight behind the c-pawn. nb6 retreats the knight to the queen side and attacks the c4-pawn. The bishop is prepared to grow into a functional square. The bishop will be better off as a result of this. x6 captures the d6-pawn and attacks the e7 and c7-pawns. X6 captures the D6 pawn and controls the E5 and C5 squares. The D5 and E4 squares are under the control of NC3, which advances the knight into the center. B7 develops the bishop and prepares castling. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. It is the final book action. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. That's good. This is a missed chance to imply that winning a knight is possible. It is incorrect. This is not the right idea. It is an inaccuracy. This poses a threat to strike a knight. That's good. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. That's a decent move. That's good. A solid choice. It is excellent. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is best. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. It is good. A rook enters the action after developing outside of its starting square as a result. It is ideal. This threatens to take an outpost with a knight. This permits the opponent to kick a bishop. It is an inaccuracy. There was only one good move in that position. This misses an opportunity to kick a bishop. This permits the opponent to take an open file with a rook. It is a mistake. This takes an open file, a common method for activating a rook. It is best. Castling develops a rook while also moving the king to safety. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent tends to lead to less sharp positions as compared with opposite side castling. It is best. This is not the best. It is an inaccuracy. This misses the chance to offer an equitable exchange of pieces. It is incorrect. This provides an equal exchange of parts. It is quite good. There were worse moves but also something much better. It is an inaccuracy. This overlooks an opportunity to centralize a knight so it controls more squares. It is a mistake. It falls flat. This mobilizes the knight, allowing it to control more of the board. It is good. This causes material loss. It is incorrect. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. That's good. From a prior move, recaptures. That's good. This moves the bishop to a more active square, making it gain scope. It is best. This moves the bishop to a better location, allowing it to control more squares. This threatens to fork pieces. It is good. This protects an underdefended pawn that is under attack. This prevents the opponent from being able to fork pieces. It is good. That's fine. It is good. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. This connects the rooks, which helps them coordinate together in the future. This threatens to fork pieces. It is best. 
This forces doubled pawns in front of the opponent's king, decreasing its safety and harming the pawn structure. This stops the opponent from being able to fork pieces. It is best. Backs off. This poses a fork piece threat. It is ideal. This protects the attack pawn. This is the only move that works. This prevents the opponent from being able to fork pieces. It is a great move. This is not the right idea. It is an inaccuracy. This misses the chance to provide an equitable exchange of pieces. It is incorrect. This misses a better way to move a queen to safety. This permits the opponent to kick a queen. It is an inaccuracy. This misses a chance to humiliate a queen. It is incorrect. This is not the best. It is an inaccuracy. By posing a threat to a queen and compelling it to flee, this wins a tempo. That is good. This ignores an opportunity to move a queen to safety. This allows the opponent to capture the checking queen. It is an inaccuracy. Recaptures. It is ideal. As a result, the rooks are placed in a single file and are able to cooperate to pose a danger. It is quite good. Very precise. It is best. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. That's a decent move. That's good. That's fine. It is good. There were worse moves, but also something much better. It is an inaccuracy. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. This is the only good move. It is a great move. Backs off. It is ideal. The game was almost evenly matched, but white is now worse. It is incorrect. Although black lost their advantage, the game is still almost evenly matched. It falls flat. As a result, the adversary can take an open file containing a rook. It is incorrect. That's a decent move. That's good. This allows the knight to control more squares. It is best. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This is not the right idea. It is an inaccuracy. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it? It is a mistake. Although the score was nearly equal, black now holds the upper hand. It falls flat. This is the only good move. It is a great move. The knight becomes more active as a result, gaining control over more of the board. It is quite good. This poses the risk of producing a passed pawn. It is incorrect. The knight now occupies an outpost, a secure square in the opponent's territory. This stops the opponent from being able to create a passed pawn. It is excellent. There was just one smart move to be made. It is incorrect. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. This threatens to take an open file with a rook. There was only one good move in that position. This ignores an opportunity to threaten winning a pawn. It is a mistake. This moves the bishop to a better location, allowing it to control more squares. This threatens to take an open file with a rook. It is best. This requires an open file, a typical technique for rook activation. That's good. This loses a rook. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it. This ignores an opportunity to win a tempo by threatening a knight. It is a blunder. This is the way to win a rook. This is the only good move. This took advantage of a mistake and white now has a winning advantage. It is a great move. Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. That game was pretty competitive. The opening was balanced. Both players navigated the middle game well.